Hello all my Virgo babies and welcome to your bi-weekly reading. I am going to start right now. Now as usual, if you have not already done so, go ahead and subscribe and make sure that you ting that bell so you are notified when I go live or when I upload new videos. Now, as I'm sure you see, things are a little bit different this week. We're going to have two overall cards, and I am going to, I have added three more decks, so we're going to have an overall of five decks um, that I am going to be drawing on and adding clarification cards to. Now, I've already shuffled and prayed over the cards, so I'm just going to go ahead and start. Now this first card is how you feel about your position in life right now. The second card is what you most want. The third card is what your fears are. This fourth card is what is going against you, This or what is going for you. And this fifth card is what is against you, what may be stopping you. Uh, the sixth card is um, what you need to know for your personal growth. And the seventh card is the overall general advice for the next two weeks for you guys. Now, as I'm dealing out these clarifying cards, I want to remind you about the teaching Facebook group, um, which the link is in the description. Uh, so you can just click on the link and it'll take you right to the group and you can request to join the group. If you are interested in learning the tarot, learning herbal um, home remedies, uh, crystal healing, uh, anything to do with the mystical um, disciplines, you can join the group for free right now. Uh, but sometime in the future, it may end up being um, paid. So go ahead and get in right now while you can, while it's still free. Now with these cards, it just gives you a little bit more information in depth than we have been able to give you. So just more beneficial for you guys. And if you want a personal reading with me, of course, you can always go to astrologyoils.com and um, purchase your or purchase or book your reading with me there and I would be happy to do a read, personal reading for you okay guys let's go ahead and get this underway here now let's draw your overall cards here well this is a good one this is the seven of cups it looks like you guys are going to have a lot of different opportunities come in your way this week and they're really good opportunities uh, sometimes this can be a little confusing but don't let it get to that point with you just look at each opportunity as it comes and um, if you have to wait to make your decision do so just judge each one carefully about what you truly want and then pick the one that is best for you but they all look like they're great opportunities. And of course, you back that up with the Nine of Pentacles. And it looks like no matter which way you go uh, in the next couple of weeks, all of these, any of these opportunities are going to be, um, you're going to be able to take them and run with them and be very prosperous when it comes to these opportunities. So that is really great energy for you guys to start off with. Okay, and then you have the Six of Air coming in to tell you that you have uh, some familiars that are trying to tell you something, trying to give you some information. So if you keep seeing an animal around, uh, the same time of day, uh, same place, uh, what have you, uh, go ahead and look up online what, that, um, what the spirit of that animal, uh, the definition of that is and you can get some really good insights on what is trying to be told to you through through those familiars and you're also going to have the queen of swords coming in somebody's going to come in and help you really organize your life either professionally or personally 
Um, but this this person really likes to put things in lists, really likes to help you uh, get rid of things that aren't serving you and to bring in things that will really help your life out on a daily basis and make things, you know, make things better for you. And then you have the five of swords energy coming in here. Um, you're going to have a lot of information coming to you and it's going to feel... Uh, maybe that it, it's coming at you all at once and, and um, you're not really sure how to take it. Um, there is some triumph here, um, but with the triumph comes a little bit of exhaustion and you're really not sure which direction to go. Uh, you really don't know where to take this information. Uh, but you have the Ace of Bows coming in after that, which is the Spark of Life. And you're going to have some clarification on uh, which direction to go here. And it's really going to help you out in the long run um, know what your true life's desire is. Because you have the Son of Cups coming in along with that energy and really helping you to... Think about what your heart's desire is and what you truly want out of life and where you want to go um, and who you want to be with, what kind of relationships you want in your life. And you're going to be doing a lot of thinking um, and fantasizing about just exactly where you can take your life from here on out. And that is all fine. That is all good energy. Um, the Son of Cups knows that the um, the beginning of all manifestation is fantasizing and dreaming about what you really want. So go ahead and, and really do some thinking uh, in the next couple of weeks about what you really want. And the Crone of Air is coming in here telling you that, or the Crone of Water is coming in here telling you that whatever it is that you have decided that you want, um, and any information that you have gathered about what you really truly want, put it away um, because you're going to need it down the in, in the future. It could be short term, long term, it doesn't matter. But um, make sure you get it written down or at least cement it in your brain somewhere where you're not going to forget it ever because you're going to need the information, especially when you are uh, destined to uh, move on to the next. Um, aspect in your life you know this is what you really really want you want to be able to move forward you feel stagnant you feel like um, you're you're stuck in the same spot um, and and this what you really want is to be able to move forward uh, and and like you know the hangman is coming in here and, and you know really saying that you're sick and tired of having everything up in the air and not knowing what direction to go and not knowing the answers and and having nothing shown to you you're you're desperate to know um the answers to a, a, quite a few things uh and and that is what you really really want another thing that you really want and um, you you want to know um you want to know how to manifest what you want. Uh, the the Eight of Bows is, is hearth fire. It's all about uh, knowing how to use everybody's passions together in order to uh, will things to happen for, for you and for the collective. And what you really want to do, what you really want is to know how to do that. You know, you see people doing that on a daily basis, but you're just dumbfounded as to how, how to do that. In this position, um, this is all about what you really want the most. And then you have, you know, the Nine of Swords coming in here uh, and saying that, you know, you're letting the past and, and all those all that negativity and and questions and and things like that come in and affect your present. You want to be able to shut it out. You want to be able to let it go and release that negative energy and move on. 
Now, card three or position three, what are your fears? You're afraid that you're not going to be able to, to balance um, and be able to, you know, you're not going to be, able, you feel like you're not going to be able to find that balance that you need in order to find the strength and, and direction and that stability that, that you know, that you see other people having. And you also fear, you know, you know, again, temperance is here. You, you, you also fear that you're going to overdo things and not be able to stop. Um, maybe you've had an addiction to something in the past and you, you're, you fear that addiction. You fear that it's going to come back and ruin everything you've worked so hard for. And it's going to make you struggle again. Um, and, and you're not going to be able to see that light and, and be able to move past the struggle and again and find your way and you have the the five of pentacles and, and you're you're fearing the concentrating on the lack and the the struggle and and the not being able to stop and it, these are all of your fears and things that are getting in your way this week you need to learn how to collectively control those fears now, position four, what is helping you in the next couple of weeks? You know, the stars are there. You know, you are being shown something that is inevitable. You have started down a path for yourself that you were meant to start down. No matter how hard it is, no matter how much struggle you have, especially when it comes to an addiction or anything like that, there is always hope. There is always those stars, and, and you are on that path. Don't let what has happened in the past uh, reflect on where you're going in the future uh, because you have a mentor. You know, you have this King of Pentacles energy coming in to show you just exactly how to manage everything that you have um, in order to benefit everybody. And you also have the Queen of Pentacles energy coming in here. To help you to help show you how to make to take all of what you have and make everything beautiful and to make everybody happy in, in what you're doing you know you really headed towards that path of happiness and you also have the lovers the forest lovers coming in um, there's someone in that's going to be coming in here that is going to be the perfect match for you um, whether they're already here and you're thinking about that person or they're coming within the next couple of weeks and you have the father of cups and this is great energy for you you know the father of cups is you know just the, the cohesive helping nurturing creative uh, loving energy that is going to mentor you again along with the king of pentacles right they're going to mentor you so you can go to the path that has been written in the stars for you that is being shown to you in this 10 um this 10 of fire this stars card it's all written in the stars for you. You just have to follow the path that these kings are writing for you or showing to you. Now, this fifth card, what is going against you? What may be stopping you? Um, you want to see instant results. And the five of earth is here, you know, to, to remind you that not everything is instant results. You're not going to you know see no matter how hard you you will you, things to happen you're not going to see them instantly it's going to take time it takes time for the water to wash away the earth and to erode a rock it's not the water can't hit a rock and then instantly dissolve it it takes time and that's what the five of earth is reminding you that no matter how much you want something to happen you have to be patient you have to allow things to happen and you have the Queen of Pentacles coming in to help you with that as well. You know, she's here to teach you patience and to teach you the virtue of really paying attention to um, detail and paying attention to the steps that are needed in order to, um, to build and grow something really beautiful. 
and you have the three of pentacles coming in to tell to let you know that you know you will see some results um you are going to be seeing some results uh but don't don't take that for granted don't don't think that just because you're seeing a little bit of results it doesn't mean that you're going to see you know the ten of pentacles or the um nine of cups coming in there and in, in showing you an instant result you have to um start being independent and taking things the way you know taking things slow and and seeing things for what they are and the queen of arrows is all about you know that that peaceful quiet independent energy that is you know happy and releases all of that negative energy you know after struggling for so long you know you finally see a little bit don't let um you don't let that little bit get you down because it's not a lot you know the the queen of arrows is there to to remind you that even that little bit is a huge relief uh, for you and it is something that you have longed to see now the daughter of swords you know you're 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 lacking information you need in the certain information that you're not getting uh, be patient and allow that information to come into you. Now, the sixth card is what you need to know for your personal growth. You know, the Mother of Earth is here to help you. Um, she's here to nurture you and to show you um, how to use your resources in an intelligent way. And she's here to help you get all the resources that you're going to need in order to um, really learn and discover your true passions and your true will and how to use it to get uh, to manifest the things that you want and you also have the eight of cups energy coming in here for your personal growth you know telling you that yes you're going to be moving on um, and you're going to be moving up but you're going to have to leave some things behind don't be um, afraid to do that uh, you, and it's necessary. It's not something that um, you're going to want to do necessarily, but it's things that you really have to leave behind in order to benefit yourself, especially if you are one of these people that um, have had an addiction or something like that. Um, make sure that you're leaving behind all of that negativity and that addictive energy. And you're going to see be able to celebrate some of these um, accomplishments that you're going to see in the next couple of weeks you know everything isn't all dreary you know you're moving forward you know slowly and and you know you but you're moving forward and you are seeing some results it's just not all at once so don't get down on yourself and you have the seven of pentacles here um, and the seven of pentacles is telling you to make sure that once you get to that point where you're starting to harvest, um, starting to see some initial results from your hard work and your harvesting for the first time, make sure that you write down what you've done. So it will be easy for you to repeat those um, positive, um, the, 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 the positivity and you're gonna be able to um, repeat that growth and repeat that and get re, reap those rewards over and over and over again so make sure you write it down and keep track of that now the overall general advice um the maiden of air is here um coming in and telling you that you really need to communicate with people make sure you you at every step you are telling people what direction you're going and where you want to be and how you're going to do it and have fun with everything have fun communicating with other people and talking with people and gathering information from other people because uh, a lot of times those people that you're communicating with are your lifeline and they are the ones that are really going to project you forward and the two of Pentacles is telling you to have fun um, starting those projects because you, you you are creative enough to and balanced enough 
even though you're kind of afraid that you're not balanced, you are balanced enough to be able to really create some beautiful things. And in comes the Ace of Pentacles telling you that no matter what you start, you are going to be blessed. And it is a huge financial opportunity for you, whatever you're starting. So don't be afraid to go ahead and go, go, go for it. Um, you have the seer here. You're going to be able to see what is going on and what opportunities um, out of these seven are going to be the most prosperous um, for you. Uh, so make sure that you're paying attention to all these opportunities. Um, and like I said in the beginning of this, this uh, reading, make sure you're using your intuition and really thinking about each one of these opportunities and make sure that you're picking the one that is going to be the most prosperous for you. Uh, but basically, uh, the high priestess is here uh, along, along with the seer, and they're basically the same card. Uh, listen to that intuition. Uh, make make your decision based on your gut. You know you're going to be shown all these all these opportunities, and no matter which one you pick, you're going to be guided by the divine. So it's going to be prosperous no matter what one you choose. Now, I hope you guys have enjoyed that reading. Uh, before you go, make sure you watch more videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and go down and hit that link and um, request to join the Facebook group.